this episode off because I'm going to be going back in time. And if you was in the age realm of watching the great comedy show Good Times, you're going to understand the damn, 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 damn that I'm going through that I'm feeling right now in the aspects to the Britney Griner sentencing. Man, it's rough, man. I, it, it, it's, it's so many thoughts that you can have, so many opinions that you can have, and I'm going to try to give you a few, and, you know, I'm going to keep it a buck. We as people, black people, there's always a target on our back, regardless of where you go. And Brittany Griner is an American basketball player who's now been sentenced and is going to – possibly served nine plus years in the Russian prison for uh, trying to bring contraband out the country, which was weed vape pens. And there have been all kind of talks and opinions and things given out. And I'm, I'm trying to keep it a buck and just give you my fair assessment of certain things. One thing is with certain two things for sure. You're going to live and you're going to die. That's it. Everything you do in between that is your life. And Brittany Griner has played in arenas, basketball arenas, small arenas, big arenas. Brittany Griner was playing in an arena, basketball arena over there overseas. But now she's been put, and she said, help put herself into bigger arenas. The arena where she got caught with the contraband that she first got put into was a judicial legislative arena in a different country. So their rules ain't our rules. When you mess up somewhere else, you are at the mercy of the court system of where you're at. So she went into the political, she went into the legislative judicial arena of Russia. Russia not being an ally of the United States for over 50 some years. If you go back and look at the history, it started back with the Cold War. You know, those that do not know history are doomed to repeat it. Malcolm X said, my people will perish from a lack of knowledge. Brittany Griner's lack of knowledge about what she could and could not have in her bag has not put her at the mercy of a country that's not an ally. They don't, they, they really, we, we really beefing, but we kind of beefing. We, it ain't no limit and, well, it, it ain't bad boy and death row, but it is, it's about close enough and it's been going on way longer than that. So now she's in the judicial arena. And now because who she is, where she's from, she has been scaled up to the political arena. See, 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 baby, she done went from basketball to judicial, political. She in an arena that's well above us. When I say us, that's common, folks. These are arenas you don't want to be in unless you know how to play the game. Russia holding it for a reason. They doing this for a reason. Is it a get back? Shit, yes, a get back. And yeah, she's been made an example of. Problem is, she put herself accidentally in that area. Do I sympathize with her? Do I empathize with her family? Oh, yes, I do. And then you'll hear, I've seen this in some of these chat rooms, man, they wouldn't do this to LeBron. You know why this wouldn't even be a LeBron topic or any other upper echelon athlete? Because Brittany Griner was over there by herself, to my knowledge. Brittany Griner was the only one in the airport that was dealing with Brittany Griner, which means that Brittany packed her own bag. See, upper echelon athletes have people watching, making sure that they don't mess up the bag. Brittany Griner's got other people that she is supporting. She has basically a team of people that she is taking care of, like any other athlete that's making a decent amount of money. And then we go to that decent amount of money part. Why was Brittany grinding in Russia in the first place? Oh, because her WNBA salary doesn't pay nowhere near enough for her to live the lifestyle that she should live as her male counterparts. So these women who have been at the WNBA has been around for a quarter century almost, if not a quarter century. And they really don't make too much more money than somebody with a regular degree or a regular job. No, but their male counterparts make... 10 to 20 to 30, 40 times more than it. So what do they do? They have to go overseas to entertain other people in other countries. That's what basketball is. It's a, it's a sport for entertainment. 
she was only doing another job because her home job didn't pay enough for her to stay at home. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to catch that part, too. We're going to keep digging in that dirt a little bit, too. Why does her job not pay her enough? Oh, because the stands ain't packed. Who, who, who's not in the stands? Oh, it's going to step on y'all toes. A bunch of feminists who've been crying and complaining about women can do as, as good, stuff as good as men. All right, go to the games, ladies, gentlemen, whatever. Why do the WNBA fans only go in in the thousands or low, low hundreds or low thousands? But NBA, they packing out 67,000, 60, 70,000 seat arenas. In no way, shape, or form can I not hold Brittany accountable for what happened. Because at the end of the day, this is your life. I tell my kids all the time, you're the CEO of yourself. You are a company. Your body is a company. You're going to make money off your body. So not body like that, but you're a company. Brittany Griner made a bad decision. Lack of knowledge, bad choice. And this is one thing I also will say. It's when you mess up, where you mess up, and how you mess up that determines a hell of a lot. That's just, I'm only thing I've ever heard bad about Brittany Griner was I think she got divorced and maybe her ex-wife and her got into a fight or something. That's about it. Nothing damning that gets you nine years in prison. I mean, this was her first, technically her first offense. Bam! Nine in the hole. Whew. I can't imagine. I can imagine because you know why? Because the judicial system and the penitentiary system over here is full of a bunch of first-time offenders that got the book thrown at them. So I can imagine. But this is what I go back to. The lack of knowledge. Her not understanding where you are, what you can and cannot do will get you screwed over every time. I mean, let's just be honest. She is serving nine years for, for weed. For weed. But where was she caught? What she was caught with? And the time she was caught all plays a big factor. Russia ain't our homeboys. They ain't cool with us. Didn't help the fact they was also in a war. That's a political stunt because they're trying to take away something that the United States wants Yugoslavia or Ukraine to keep because Ukraine is an ally. They cool with us. But if it's, 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 this is chess, not checkers. If somebody take a piece of the boy you need, you got to fight to maintain it. But see, that's a whole side by over there. But see what you got going on right here is also affected. And this is, this is where it goes back to what happens and when it happens and where it happens. I pray that, you know, if if this is true and they want to trade her for an arms dealer that's locked in Germany, like this dude is poly, ain't even in the U.S. They want, they want us to go beg another country let him out. I say, fuck it, why not? I mean, he's an arms dealer. I mean, he'll kill her. The world full of them. Putting one back on the street really ain't that big. But bringing her home is big to our people. But also, let's just tell you, we ain't got that, pol that political capital like that either. So, you know, we'll figure it out, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And, hey, we knocking on 400 subscribers, baby. Woo, woo. Let's get to 400. I'll holler at you.